people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, I had something interesting I wanted to share with you guys because it pertains to a fight that I am excited for, and that that is that uh, Amir Khan versus Kell Brook fight, you know? The, the big old super fight that we're getting 10 years too late, you know? So look, I... I've been following this fight and the development of this fight for a long time. And in my experience following it, I truthfully believe that Amir Khan never wanted this fight. And I still believe that. And I think at this point, it's just a, it's a cash out fight for both of them. And I'm, I'm not mad at them for that. Get your money. Get your money by all means. But with that being said and with that being established, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Amir Khan wants to come out and wants to start talking about Kell Brook is on PEDs and Kell Brook is on steroids. Now, I don't deny that any fighter could be on steroids, especially, you know, when you look at the history of uh, the guys that have trained at the Ingle Gym, you know? So I'm not saying Kell Brook might not be on steroids because any fighter is, uh, is, is at this point, should be uh, under suspicion of taking steroids because that's just how prevalent PED use is in boxing. But... Why is Amir Khan bringing this up now? I mean, this is the same Amir Khan that when he fought Lamont Peterson, Lamont Peterson was all doped up. Lamont Peterson was juiced to the gills. And you would think, right? You would think after that fight, if it was such a concern to Amir Khan, if PED drug testing mattered so much to Amir Khan, you would think that after that fight, Amir Khan, you know, because he's not broke. Amir Khan's not a broke fighter. Amir Khan's been a million dollar fighter since before he even was a, a, a professional. He had, he had endorsement deals, big endorsement deals, right, right, straight out the Olympics. So he's always had, he's had money. He could afford uh, a 365 year round Vada drug testing. He could afford uh, to pay for opponents drug testing if it meant that much to him. But you now, you wanna come out, now that the fight is signed and, 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 and we're, we're less than um, two months away, from 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 the fight now you want to come out and you want to start virtue signaling and 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 and, and try to say oh well this guy's on peds i mean listen amir, amir khan you know, listen man you on that bullshit man like if it was such a big deal before you ever agreed to fight this should be in the contract already you should say hey kel i'm not fighting you unless you take drug testing with this agency or that agency now i know one thing i do know is that you know they're in the uk so they're not they don't necessarily have to adhere to usada or vada uh drug testing because those are independent testing agencies that do the drug testing here in america um this fight's going to be in the uk in manchester so maybe they're going to do the ucad thing and, and and do ucad drug testing now does amir khan trust ucad your drug testing i don't know i'd like to know but if it's that big of a deal why don't you just um why don't you just at why don't you just make why don't why haven't you put that in place already because lamar peterson like i said lamar peterson was juiced to the when he fought you this should have been this should have been in place after that fight but no you want to sit here and you want to start chatting all this bullshit and you want to do all this nonsense about kel brook being on peds which he could be any fighter can be but i'm just saying it looks bad on you because it's just weird. It's just the timing. The timing of it. The timing of it is off. Why are you talking about it now? How come you didn't talk about it before the contract was signed? How come the whole time? Like, think about it. We've literally been asking for this fight for ten years, and we're getting it ten years later. And in the whole ten years of Khan versus Brook, from the negotiations to all the chit chat in the media to all the articles that have been written, I never ever once saw anything about Khan talking about. Kell Brook being on PEDs, but now that the fight is signed, Kell Brook's on PEDs. Get the, get the fuck out of here. Give me a card on that bullshit. He, and 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 you know, I, I it's make it, like like I like Amir Khan. May the best man win. I was I was kind of leaning a little bit towards Kell Brook because I like Kell Brook, but man, like it makes it makes like shit like this from Khan, it makes me want to see him get knocked out even more because it's ver the way the way I perceive it is I see it, I perceive it as a virtue signaling and, and 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 I see it as a way for him to try to get out the fight because he didn't he never wanted this fight he never ever wanted this fight that's why i put up all those roadblocks back in the day so we'll see what happens with khan we'll see if 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 uh the fight still happens 
I think it will. For, for now, the fight is still on, but he's talking about um, they have been drug tested. So look, if that's what it's going to take to get him in the ring, then get the, get the drug testing. If it hasn't gotten started already, started already get the drug testing. Because um, I, I don't want no excuses, um, regardless of who wins this fight. I just want to see a good fight, a fight that we should have got a long time ago, and I want to see both men just walk out the ring safely, with their health intact, making good money, and uh, giving the fans a great fight. So I'm going to leave it at that. But that's the news. Amir Khan accuses Kell Brook, uh, alludes to Kell Brook using PEDs, says that there's been no drug testing, finds it very suspicious. So, uh, you know, leave your comments down below. Make it that what you will. You know, tell a friend to tell a friend. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content, interviews, news videos, breakdowns, live fight reaction extravaganza. We've got a great community of, of people here, boxing fans all over the world from America to the UK to Australia and on and on and on. So join the empire today. Hit that subscribe button. Take care and God bless.